Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we have a lot to discuss, so we have some very bullish price action going on, not only on the Bitcoin price but also on the Ethereum price, so we're gonna analyze all the Ethereum, what are the next targets. And before we start with the content my friends, we have a lot of news, updates and promotions starting from today. So the ones that you already know are the ones over on Bybit and also Femex where you can get depending on your deposit from now on till the 22nd of December you can put a deposit there and uh, you can get up to $600. It's exactly the same promotion that is going on over on Femex and also on Bybit. So starting from today if you put until the December 22nd up to 1.5 Bitcoin you can get up to $600 promotion and bonus that you can use to trade here. So uh, this is something that you definitely have to use. And uh, the next thing is that we currently have 40% off on hardware wallets over on the ledger. So definitely go and buy some of them. We have currently 40% off. Use my affiliate link down below here in the video description if you want to order one today. This is a Black Friday event, so it's only for a short period of time. Take advantage and also secure your cryptos into hardware wallets. Very, very important. So use my link that you find down below here. Then put this voucher code here when you check out and uh, buy some of them because you can order here nano x and also nano s and um, the next thing that i want to tell you and also remind you is that uh, on binance if you have some cryptos and also tether on the sideline you can at any time put it over here onto this flexible savings account where you can just stake them and get some interest currently for example here on usdt we have 2.23 percent and on cardano for example 0.95 percent so if you just have some cryptos lying around put it here and you can get some interest for free. Some of the DeFi coins has even up to 20 or 30% interest. So definitely go and check out also here this Binance savings program, very interesting. And if you still don't have any kind of Binance account, then make sure to open up a Binance account with the link that you find down below here in the video description. And before we start with the content, one last update here on Prime XPT. Currently, because of these recent pumps that we are seeing in the Bitcoin price, a lot of these traders are in profits. So congratulations to everyone that is already trying out this co-vesting feature that is only available over on Prime XPT. If you also want to copy trade other traders and gain up to 6,000% in gains without doing anything, just putting your money in there, then make sure to open up an account on Prime XPT with my link that you find also down below here in the video description. Prime XPT is also one of the exchanges that I recommend you. So basically you can use all of those links here to create some accounts and also get some free money as well. Even here over on the B Play, where you can play with your cryptos, for example, blackjack, roulette or poker, you can get some extra bonus and promotions in the future if you use my sign up link that you also find down below here in the video description. And with that said guys, let's start with the content because here you can see the Bitcoin price in the one hour time frame. And as you can see, we are currently in this uptrend with the support down here at around $17,200 and the current resistance up here at $19,500. If we would see here continuation to the upside and test again the resistance in this channel that we're in currently. So I'm expecting here continuation to the upside because Bitcoin is still looking very bullish even in the lower time frames. Of course, we have a lot of warning signs that we could be in a major correction anytime soon, not only here on the Bitcoin price, but also overall in the altcoins. But as you can see right now, also the altcoins are picking up and are following Bitcoin. So we're seeing very nice gains overall in the crypto space, doesn't matter what coin you are holding. And uh, we can switch over now into the four hour time frame because here I want to show you that currently we are respecting again the 20 moving average. So in order to have continuation to the upside, we should at least close this four hour candle here above $18,500 in order again to be shifted to the upside and potentially go again above $19,000. 
dollar also you can see that the RSI now is again trading above the 50 level and we have a lot of room left to the upside only if we would break out here to the upside so above $19,500 I'm expecting a big run up here and big FOMO that is kicking in and also potentially going to lead into a new all-time high because if we are able to break out here to the upside from this channel that we're in currently we will create a new all-time high Bitcoin has never been higher than that price level in that case but currently we're still in this channel and we're gonna have to see for how long we're gonna stay in this channel and also where we're gonna break out because if we're gonna lose here the support that we have currently down at $17,200 I'm expecting a huge correction at least towards the $15,000 level potentially even in the worst case towards $12,000 I will show you in the weekly time frame why $12,000 but here in the four hour it looks like that we're gearing up again for another pump to the upside potentially towards $19,500 and that of course would also lead into continuation to the upside in the altcoins and if we go over into the Bollinger Band you can see that again we are now trading in the upper area so the Bollinger Band in the four hour currently is at $19,000 here at the top so it is very likely that we're gonna visit again this price level the problem is only that we still have MACD and KSD shifted to the downside so we're gonna have to see if in the next couple of hours we're able to close above $18,000 five hundred dollars or not and also have a bullish cross here in these two indicators in order to have a confirmation that we will see continuation to the upside so everything is still looking very bullish my friends but be aware that we still are very overbought and we could expect a correction at any time soon because if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that currently we're still far away from all the moving averages and usually they are acting as a magnet so if we're gonna lose here the support that we also created here with this nine day moving average you can see that also with this dump that we had during the weekend we just came down to the nine day moving average at $17,500 and immediately bounced again back up and that's why I'm telling you my friends as long as we're closing daily candles above the nine day moving average so currently above $17,800 there is nothing to worry about but if we're starting to close daily candles below this moving average be prepared to see a correction at least down towards a 20 daily moving average at $16,500 and in the worst case even down towards the 200 daily moving average which is lining up with our main support of this channel currently at around $11,600 and why I think that we could see such a correction is still because we are very overbought here in the daily time frame in the RSI and also in my own indicator you can see that also the money flow now is coming down and that's why this is looking to me that we could top out pretty soon here maybe create first a new all-time high and then have a major correction to the downside a correction will happen the question is only when and how big it will be and therefore we can also have a look here into the weekly time frame because here you can see that the 20 weekly moving average currently is down at $12,500 and this is where I'm gonna go all in again because I think if we're gonna see the worst case like a really big correction this area down here between $12,500 to $11,650 could be really the worst case scenario of a bigger correction and there we should have enough buy power because I think this price level is the level that many traders are watching in case of a major correction and where the most people probably are going to go all in again or at least starting to stack up some nice long positions and of course here also in the weekly time frame you can see that we have RSI and also my own indicator quite overbought and also extended and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band also here you can see that we are far away now from the Bollinger Band we are trading right at the top of the Bollinger Band so sooner or later we will have a retracement back down here to test one of these two moving averages and as you can see they are currently here between $14,300 and $12,520 so in the worst case scenario we're coming down to retest these two to moving averages because you can see that we are overshooting the Bollinger Band by far now of course this is what we're gonna see also during the next couple of months and years in the Bitcoin price but when we're seeing so many weeks only green there will be sooner or later a correction and this is when you should buy and long again everything you can so Bitcoin is still looking very bullish in the lower and also in the bigger time frames even though a correction is still in the cards that's why my friends don't FOMO wait till there will be blood on the street and then go again all in and scale in some nice long positions because Bitcoin is looking very bullish and if we are lucky to see another correction down to those levels we can buy even more Bitcoin for cheaper 
prices and now we can go back into the daily time frame and have first a look into the bitcoin dominance because currently you can see that after we were breaking down from this support i told you also yesterday that we're gonna see a little altcoin season because we are falling down here in the bitcoin dominance and my target is to reach here at least the 200 daily moving average at 60 to 50 percent if we're gonna drop below the 200 daily moving average then watch out for the main support down here at 58 50 percent and that's why I think as long as we're crashing down here we will see the altcoins pumping like crazy and probably also outperforming the Bitcoin price at least for now as long as we are crashing down here and that's why if you want to do some swing trades then try to buy some altcoins like for example Ethereum and then swing trade it so if Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin the gains that you're doing you can just swap it over back into Bitcoin so once Bitcoin is gaining again in dominance not only you will have more Bitcoins because you multiply with the swing trade but also it will be worth way way more so there is no sense to bring your profits back into dollar the best thing is always to bring your profits back into bitcoin so as long as we are falling here i'm expecting this altcoin season to continue and now we can go over into the ethereum chart because here you can clearly see that we are breaking out from this 500 dollar resistance that we had and currently we are touching here the next fib line if we zoom out here into the weekly time frame you can see that this fib line is a very important resistance and support area because also in the past here we had a lot of price action here in the 600 dollar area and i think as soon as we can break it we will go straight up here towards the 750 dollars area those are the fib lines based on the all-time high that we had and the bottom of around 80 dollars and as you can see ethereum right now is performing very well and i think we still have some room left to the upside potentially to have a blow off top towards 750 dollars so if you are in ethereum i would definitely still hold it at least till we're gonna test the 700 to 750 dollar range and then maybe take some profits out into bitcoin because once we're gonna see the bitcoin dominance again bottoming out we will see another big spike up in the bitcoin price and you definitely want to be into bitcoin and not like into usdt or something like that so I think Ethereum will continue towards these price levels even though of course also here we are getting into very overbought condition and also there are a lot of warning signs that we could see a correction potentially down to these moving averages here that you can see in the daily. One is here at $480 and the worst case scenario also if Bitcoin is going to have a major correction Ethereum also could come down all the way towards the 200 daily moving average at $330. So be very careful if you're buying in right now or if you're longing right now Ethereum of course we still have some room left to the upside and this pump that we have seen yesterday and today could be just the beginning but if you want to go all in again then maybe wait for a possible dip and don't forget you can also trade ethereum over on bybit or femex for example so you can also easily long ethereum over here if you have already some ethereum and like this also multiply your position so the conclusion for today my friends is that we're gonna see continuation to the upside here in the altcoins and of course also in the bitcoin price but be aware that there will be a big correction sooner or later in coming and there you have to be strong not to panic sell and also to buy even more bitcoin and altcoins for the long term because right now is more the time to take out some profits and getting ready for a possible dump if we're gonna have a dump right now it is also possible that first we're gonna create a new all-time high before a major correction but a correction will come sooner or later that is what happens in all kind of asset classes and also in the bitcoin price we have seen this during 2016 to 2017 so that would be also nothing new here for the bitcoin price and as you know bitcoin likes to do huge big nasty dumps and then continue straight again to the upside so be ready in case of a major correction that you are able to buy even more bitcoin so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos on bitcoin and also if you want me to analyze any kind of altcoins then just let me know down below here in the comment section and make sure to use all these links that you find down below here to open up some accounts over on coinbase or swissborg for example or if you want to do some mining with your computer you find the recommended miners down below here because with all these links that you find here you can get some extra money and also some extra rewards so you can get even more cryptos and also 
if you have discord you can join my free discord trading chat we have a very great community over there and this is also where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin and we have this week a 50 percent off on my indicator so this is a special black friday discount only valid for this week so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye